Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So I've been thinking a lot about patchwork recently, probably because I've got a, a lot of sari pieces that I want to make into a journal cover. Anyway, that's the lead in to me saying I decided that what I would do is a patchwork art journaling page, but just with paints. So I thought this would be quite a good prompt for the Art and Soul Facebook group, my September prompt for the group. Anyway, I'll just say a little bit about what I'm doing here and then I need to go on and explain something about what happened with the filming. So I decided just to basically put different squares and rectangles down and I also wanted one circle. I don't know why, I just wanted that one circle. So all I'm doing here is using really just craft paints and just freehand doing squares and rectangles. And I'm just doing these in a variety of colours. I wanted it to be quite bright, so bright colours. And you'll see me from time to time go to the page behind just to wipe my paintbrush off so that that paint's not getting wasted. Anyway, what I need to explain is that this took me a little while, longer than I thought it would. And at some point during the filming, I don't know if I got up to make a cup of coffee or went to get another supply, but I thought I'd stopped the camera running. I hadn't, but when I sat back down, I then pushed the button again, which stopped it, yet I thought I was filming. So, long story short, I've missed some of the filming, so towards the end it will be more a short piece where I'll tell you what I've added to it. So sorry about that, uh, it would have taken me too long to sit and do this again, so I'm just going with it. So it's a bit of a process, but it's not there in its entirety. So as I say, I was just literally painting in squares and rectangles. I wasn't too concerned about them being wholly uh, square or straight, you know, so you'll see some of the ang some of the corners are a little bit angled, that's okay. I wanted some of the patches to appear to be overlapping others and I wasn't too concerned if it went over the edge of the other colours a little bit because I knew that I'd be doing more to these that would actually then start to disguise the edges. The hardest bit of course was this bit trying to go around the circle. There I decide, well, it'd be better to use a smaller brush so I move over to do that. So I had just wanted something that, that was very bright. Today I felt like using bright colours and I wasn't necessarily looking at colours that would go well together. I was simply thinking patchwork and the fact that, you know, it can be a bit of a mismatch. So if you are in the Art and Soul Facebook group, this is my September prompt for you to create a patchwork page. Now it doesn't need to be with paint, you could do it with collage or you could do it digitally if you're into digital art. You know, as always I try and keep my challenges quite open so that you can interpret it in whatever way that you choose. All I ask is to make it something to do with patchwork. You could even do a natural material patchwork if you wanted, a fabric patchwork. So if you're in the Art and Souls Studio Facebook group and you share what you do, then everyone that's uh, shared their work for my uh, August, no, I've got that wrong, January, March, May, June, July, August, September uh, challenges, prompts, you'll be, your name will go in a hat and I will pull out a winner who will receive a small package of Happy Mail. And if you're going to share your work in the group, then please just say something like Kylie's September challenge. And then that way it's just I can pick it up more easily. 
so just continuing with this and what I'll probably do is just jump forward a little bit now. So there we go, we have it all down. At this point I decided it was too bright, I wanted to kind of knock it back a little bit. So I then took some white craft paint but added a fair bit of water to it because I didn't want to lose all the colour and all the brightness but just to knock it back a bit and I was quite happy to leave some of those kind of darker edges around the, the squares and the rectangles because that just gave a little bit of emphasis to it. And just doing it over the circle as well and I, I actually end up going across every square and rectangle just knocking it back a little bit. So it's just beyond this that my filming goes awry, so really sorry about that, but as I say, I'll try and talk you through the rest of it. So here I've added more white, but I wanted to blend those squares in a bit more. I've added swirls and I've started to put marks on the squares and rectangles. I've doodled on it, I've put white dots. So I've really tried to bring it to life that way. I've used a black pen and added in some more detail, like faux stitching. I used a variety of pencils. I used some colour pencils on some of it and I also used some gel pens. So once more, apologies for the error with filming, but I hope you were able to get something from this anyway. Bye for now.